warm welcome to the all of you i am ashok kumar assistant professor department of civil engineering walchand institute of technology solapur in this class we are going to learn about the roadway capacity and level of service learning outcome of the today session students will able to differentiate the different types of the roadway capacity and estimate the theoretical or basic capacity of a single lane so before we go to the capacity let us define the what is capacity capacity is the maximum traffic flow that can be accommodated in a highway facility during the given time period under prevailing roadway traffic and control conditions so it tells about the how much it can accommodate if you take a per single lane within a 15 minutes or 15 uh, within a 1 hour how much it can take how much it can accommodate under the these conditions prevailing roadway traffic and control conditions keeping these is factors and measuring the capacity so usually the capacity is uh, defined for hourly rate or some cases or most of the cases the rate is used for the peak 15 minutes for the peak hour we can convert the peak hour 15 minutes into hourly rate also so the difference between the flow and capacity many of us may get confused what is flow and what is capacity in this case while traffic volume represents the actual rate of flow and responds to the variations in traffic demand so here the flow or the volume it's going to responds to the variations in traffic demand it may be change the uh, demand in the morning or change the demand in the evening also so flow responds the variations in the traffic demand capacity indicates the maximum rate of flow it, it it it's not talking about the what is the variations in the traffic it tells about the numbers the maximum rate of flow when exposed to a certain level of service characteristics or number of prevailing roadway and traffic conditions we will see that what is this prevailing roadway and traffic conditions but capacity tells about the maximum rate of flow and flow tells about the number but it tells about the variations in the traffic demand if you see that what is this roadway traffic and control conditions we are keeping this condition and measuring the our capacity so as i told you capacity is defined for prevailing roadway traffic and control condition so what is the roadway condition it refers to the geometrical parameters of the road such as the number of the lanes lane width shoulder width and free flow speeds so keeping these values and measuring the our capacity values traffic condition means without changing any composition of the traffic stream particularly the presence of trucks and heavy vehicle and control conditions means primarily interrupted flow facilities where such control like stop and yield signs traffic signals all these we have to keep it under conditions under these conditions we have to measure the traffic parameters but prevailing this roadway traffic and control conditions is very difficult but we because every uh, traffic stream is going to have interference of the traffic uh, other vehicles like trucks and heavy vehicles or there is a change in the geometry or this uh, we have a stop or yield signs at the intersections also due to the signals so keeping all these things we have to measure the what is the capacity of a road it is the capacity is defined at a particular point or a particular stretch or a particular segment or a particular uniform section consisting of prevailing conditions so here the it refers to the maximum flow rate that can be reasonably expected to traverse a section even uh, variations in both time and space the capacity will change according to the time and also space capacity is not the single highest flow level ever expected to occur rather a value that can be reasonably achieved repeatedly you can you can't say that it is a single value highest value suppose the the capacity is uh, uh, taken as something uh, 2000 pcus per day so this 2000 pcus per day can the vehicle the uh, this capacity can be uh, reach this 2000 pcus per day in that within the day more than two times more than three times also so 
it is not the single highest value it can be achieved repeatedly that same value can be repeatedly achieved on that particular day so basically we have three types of the capacity first one is a basic capacity as per the highway capacity manual 1950 we have basic capacity what is the basic capacity it is also called as a theoretical capacity when you say theoretical you are going to get it is a maximum capacity maximum number of vehicles that can pass a given point on a lane or a roadway during one hour under the ideal roadway and traffic condition this is very important ideal condition just now we have seen that the traffic condition the geometric condition traffic stream characteristics whether it becomes ideal roadway traffic where there is no hindrance from the other vehicle there is no hindrance from the uh, traffic signal it is very seldomly it is very very difficult to get this ideal roadway condition so if you are getting that ideal roadway condition then that capacity you are measuring the number of vehicles flowing within peak 15 minute time that capacity is called as a basic capacity but it is very difficult to get in the field that is the reason we call this is the theoretical capacity coming one next a possible capacity it is a little bit lesser than the our theoretical capacity so it can be achieved possible capacity is a maximum number of vehicles that can pass a given point or a lane or you can take any stretch during one hour you are measuring under prevailing roadway and traffic condition so you are trying to come closer to the actual practical where you see that the prevailing roadway and traffic condition again it is very difficult to get the prevailing roadway and traffic condition but when you come to the mixed traffic there is a disturbance from the other vehicle there is a signals there is a geometry hindrance all the parameter we have to consider ideal condition ideal roadway and traffic condition it is difficult in the basic capacity here also possible capacity also it can be very very difficult to get the both prevailing roadway and traffic conditions so practical capacity is what neither we are not taking basic capacity or our uh, possible capacity we are taking this practical capacity here the maximum number of vehicles that can pass a given point in a lane or a roadway during one hour you can concentrate here when the density is here we are talking about the not talking about the the other parameter we are talking taking about the density is not so great yes there is a uh, the density is also exist and it is uh, cause is unreasonable delay also hazard or restriction to the driver freedom to maneuver under prevailing roadway and traffic condition with the traffic stream you are measuring the capacity that is what we call as a practical capacity so this is usually considered to be the design capacity because we are measuring the capacity with respect to the not theoretical not possible with respect to the our the existing conditions of the road that is the reason we called it is a practical capacity so you can think over here you can think among this which one will be the higher whether basic capacity possible capacity or practical capacity with explanation i hope you are going to get the answer in this reason basic capacity is higher than possible capacity and possible capacity is higher than practical capacity because in this both the case you are going to get ideal and prevailing condition there is no disturbance from the traffic or signal because of that the number will be very high that is very very difficult to get that sometime the possible capacity may become equal to the basic capacity that is possible but in this case basic capacity is more than possible capacity and possible capacity is more than practical capacity so we are going to calculate this uh, the theoretical maximum capacity so it is given by uh, for the single lane it is 1000 v upon s so here the qc indicates the capacity of a single lane vehicles per hour and v uh, v indicates the speed in kmph and what is s s indicates the average center to center spacing of vehicle that is the gap between the one vehicle to other vehicle that is follow one behind the other as a qr space headway so how do you, here we know the speed here we have to find out the only s we have to find it out so calculation of this space headway it is sometimes it is taken as equal to the distance traveled during the reaction time of the driver plus the average length of the vehicle if you take the the average the reaction time of the driver during the the uh, perception distance 
So that is what it is called as a reaction time of the distance. Within that uh, distance, the driver will travel for some more distance. That is uh, during the reaction time. So the SG is what the our reaction, the distance travelled during the reaction time, and L is the length of the vehicle. So this is already we have know when we are deriving the equation for stopping side distance in the highway geometric. There we know that the perception distance or reaction distance it is multiplication of the speed into reaction time. So here that small t indicates the reaction time. It is usually taken as 0.7 second, and if you want to convert that into kmph, we have to multiply it 0.278 v into t. Here v is in kmph. Put the t value as 0.7 and simplify it. Further, it comes to 0.2 v plus l. That is the space headway s, where v in kmph. So when you have space headway. That is the equation. Earlier equation we are going to use it. Thousand v upon s. When we have headway in time, we know that the headway is defined in two ways: space headway in distance and time headway in seconds. So when we have h t as the time, there we can define this maximum capacity or theoretical capacity, three thousand six hundred by h t in one hour. Uh, what is the the uh, the total flow or capacity flow in one hour? That is the it indicates. 3600 seconds where ht is the minimum time headway in second so headway is what it is the distance from the front of the vehicle to the another front of the vehicle it is measured in distance as well as in time so the factors are shown over here it factors depends upon the the lane width as the lane width uh, decreases capacity decreases Lateral clearance about the different uh, structures are coming in between due to the some structure your capacity may reduce, and uh, due to the narrow shoulder yes capacity will uh, reduce because uh, sometime during the emergency we may use the shoulder to increase the capacity. Alignment restrictions in the side distance steep and long grade affect the capacity it reduces the capacity. A steep gradients or sharp curves that may. Uh, reduce the capacity presence of intersections at grade yes uh, the more the intersections are uh, uh, coming in the highway then it also reduces the capacity because you have to reduce the speed wherever you are going to uh, receive your intersections at grade intersections commercial vehicles let's such as large commercial vehicles like a uh, truck buses it occupies more space and uh, due to that the capacity we reduce some other factors like whether it is a one way two way two way traffic or number of traffic lanes as the numbers is lesser number of traffic lanes are lesser you are going to get capacity reduced so these are the references i have used for preparing this presentation thank you